Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex and Binary Option. My name is Damien Levy. Foundation Learning, what is the Forex market? Lesson 1. In this lesson you will learn what is the forex market, when this market is open and tradable, what is the financial vehicle used, why price moves, supply and demand principles, what impacts the economy of a country, the two major types of trading styles, the economic calendar and how it is used. What is Forex? Forex means foreign exchange. It is a currency worldwide market. To give you examples, when you go on holiday in a foreign country, you exchange the money from your country to the money in the country you arrive to buy there all you need. You are, without knowing it, using the foreign exchange market. Then, other example, when investors buy real estate in a foreign country, they first need to exchange their money to buy the money of the country where they will invest. Finally, last example, when businesses investors invest in companies in a foreign country, once again they exchange their own currency to be able to invest there. The forex market is a worldwide interbank network. National banks create a network between them and this network is the base of the forex market. The forex is open 24 hours, 5 days per week. To simplify here, here is a map with the time zone. The market open with the New Zealand, Australia and Tokyo session. Then when the Asian session close, London and the other European market opens. Finally, when the London session close, we have the United States session that is open, then the cycle starts again in Asia. This market is closed on Saturday and Sunday for retail traders. Advantage compared to the stock market. The stock market is open only during working hours of the specific country or continent where it is which means you can trade the shares of the businesses that are proposed by the stock market only 8 hours per day, 5 days a week. The forex market, on the other side, being open 24 hours, 5 days per week, provides us 3 times more opportunities to trade. You can trade at any time of the day. If you have a daily job during the day, it might be complicated for you to trade the stock market. But in forex, no problem. Financial vehicle. To trade in Forex, we invest in currency pairs compared to shares in the stock market. For example, the euro against the USD. The first currency in this pair is called base currency. The first currency in the pair is called base currency. The second currency in the pair is called quotation currency. It is this way because we need to compare one currency to another to determine its value. For example, to determine the value of this pair, we use one unit of the base currency and we ask how many of the quotation currency is necessary to make one euro in this example. As of today, we need 1.13 dollar to make one euro. So the value of the euro USD pair is 1.13. Other currency pairs, the USD, Japanese Yen. To determine the value of this pair, same principle, we use one unit of the base currency and we ask how many of the quotation currency is necessary to make one USD in this example. As of today, we need 110 Japanese Yen to make one dollar. So the value of the USD GPY is 110. Why price moves? Like explained in the stock market video, in Forex 2 there is always a fight between supply and demand. 
buyers and sellers, or bulls and bears. If you need to see in detail how it works, kindly watch the previous video presenting the stock market. I put the link below this video. Now let's go a little bit more in detail for the forex market. For a currency, what are the elements that influence the investor to put their money in a country or to leave it? It seems to be a complex question, right? Not so much actually. When you think about it, those elements are, for example, the unemployment rate, the production of the country, the import compared to the export, the interest rate of the national banks, and news events like elections or big political events. Like today, we have the Brexit, where the United Kingdom leaves the Europe. This has a huge impact on the British pound, for example. Or again, it can be natural disasters. There is two major types of investors. When it comes to trading, we have two major ways of trading. The first is fundamental trader. The fundamental trader analyzes the economy's strength through the elements mentioned just before, and they also trade the news event as they happens during the day. On the other hand, we have the technical trader. He analyzes the movement of the price on the chart, and when there is an impacting news event happening, they don't trade until the market comes back to a normal activity, which is more predictable. The economic calendar. A very useful tool for us traders. To simplify our task as investor, there is what is called an economic calendar. It is a calendar regrouping all important economic events and report of the day. You can even be alerted just before the event. This way, if you are a fundamental trader, you will wait those events to trade and if you are a technical trader like me, you will sit on your hands while those impacting events happen. You can use different source, they are slightly the same, I'll show you quickly what do they look like. So let's start first with investing.com. You click on investing.com, very simple access, and on the right corner, top, you have economic calendar, and you go there. So all these fundamental events seem a bit complicated, but on this calendar, you have every day all the impacting news that happen. It can be a report, like the inter interest rate decision, for example, for the ruble from Russia today at 6.30 p.m., or it can be a FOMC member, Bullard, a speech from someone very important in the economy of the country that might also impact the economy of the country. So what you have to know is, on this specific investing.com economic calendar that I use personally, I just filter the two bull head right here, which mean moderate volatility expected, and the three bull head high volatility expected. That's the way you will see the strength of this specific news. And additional to that, on this calendar, which is nice, you can set some alerts. So for example here, you can create an alert right here. You can make it recurring, which means every month, if it's a report that happens monthly, it will automatically create an alert for you. And me, I send a reminder 15 minutes, it can be 30 minutes before. Especially in Forex, it's very useful to have 13 minutes before. And I create it, which means every time this type of news event will happen, I will receive a notification via my Google Chrome. Very, very useful. And to explain a little bit, you have here also better than expected. So every result is filled in real time when the report is published. And you have an analysis, investing.com tells you if it's better for the country or worse than expected, which means something bad for the country. You just have to click on each news like that, it opens a new tab, and it will explain to you what is this specific news and what means the data. If the data will be superior or inferior, what does it mean for the country? Is it positive or negative for the country? If it's negative for the country, you can expect the currency to drop. But news trading is part of fundamental trading, that's globally the way you trade it. So with this economic calendar, it makes the task very easy for you in your trading. And for us, technical analysis trader, when there is a big news, I just stay out of the market 30 minutes before and 30 minutes after. 
So that's for the economic calendar of investing.com. The second one that you can use, well, there is other, but I pick just three and I show you the major one. The second one is from, for example, dailyfx.com calendar. And here you have the same. For the day, Friday, February 8th, you have medium, low impact, and high impact if there is some. And most of the time, the classification of the medium and high impact is nearly the same from one calendar to the other, and there is very slightly difference from one to the other. But there can be differences. Here also you have a system of alert that you can create, and this alert will be added to your calendar, to your Google Calendar, Yahoo Outlook Calendar. It's a bit more complicated. I use the most simple, which is for me, investing.com. And finally, you have the Forex Factory Calendar, which is nearly the same. On this one, I don't know so much how to use it and if I can set an alert. So I can't show you that because I haven't found out. But I think it's possible too. Those are the three you can use to check the news. But personally, I stick to one, which is investing.com. Here, I filter all the currency that I want to appear, so only the major for me. And I filter all with two bullhead, so medium impact and high impact news. And after you click to apply and that's it. It filters for you the most important for the day. And it reduces a little bit the number of news events that uh, appears on your calendar. That's it for the calendar. Let's come back to the presentation. To summarize. The foreign exchange is a worldwide market. Every exchange from one currency to another is part of it, even without knowing it. Open 24 hours, 5 days per week, it proposes us more opportunity to trade. It is composed by the Asian session, the European session following, and then the US session. In Forex, we invest in currency pairs. The first currency in the pair is the base currency and the second is the quotation currency. We compare the first to the second to define the value of the pair. The value of the price is influenced by the economy strength of the country's currency. This strength is influenced, for example, by the import-export, inflation, employment rate, news event, political event or again natural disaster. There is two major styles of trading, sometimes combined, the fundamental trader and the technical. To help with the fundamental part, we use an economic calendar and the alert on it. This tool simplifies a lot the way we handle the fundamental part, even as a technical trader. We are already at the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Please like and share and join us on Facebook. The link are below the video. Comment if you want me to do a video on a specific topic about trading. And if you need a quality broker, I recommend IC Market. And my link is below if you need. I have tested a lot of brokers in the past for Forex. And IC Market is a true ECN broker regulated in Australia. And the one that I personally use and the best we have found so far with very, very good condition to trade. I publish video every week, so subscribe to my channel to be updated. I wish you all the best. Bye.